activists are inside. Uh, they're not letting us get food in. Uh, although we did actually manage to get some food in. I think they're okay, but it's a, um, a siege that's going on now. And it's very dangerous because this crowd can get very physical. They have physically assaulted us. They verbally abuse us. Our people are nonviolent. Their people are not. And um, so I think it's a, a dangerous situation. And I'm surprised that the police are not uh, doing a better job of keeping the peace. One of the Venezuelan opposition protesters was calling me and um, other embassy protectors racial slurs. He called me India, which um, for context is a very derogatory term for somebody who is indigenous. He also went ahead and he said, you're so ugly, um, you can see the indigenous all over your face. So if the people in the building are lawfully present, if they weren't lawfully present, wouldn't law enforcement be able to use legal means to remove them? Because they can't, they're facilitating a mob, a right-wing fascistic siege mob, and standing back, I mean, picture everything that we've seen this right-wing mob do over the last three days. Can you imagine if someone went and did that at the French embassy in defense of the Gilets Jaunes? If somebody went and attempted to protest like that at the Saudi embassy or the Israeli embassy, they would be in handcuffs in a split second. But instead, what the government has made a decision that they're going to attempt to starve people here, they're going to threaten their safety, they're going to allow assaults to occur, and they're going to keep allowing that to happen. And it's a violation of international law, and it's a violation of domestic law. Arresting him? No, 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 Yeah.